Today I'll be doing a review on these pretty brushes I spotted at Walmart when I was looking for everything that had nothing to do with makeup. I'm going to go into my normal makeup routine with the only difference being these brushes. I've already applied my moisturizer and face primer. I've also already did my eyebrows and eyeshadow, obviously, right? I'm using the biggest brush in the set to apply my foundation. It feels sort of weird with it actually being a brush, I guess. It's also taking more foundation than it normally would when I use the um, other form of brush that I have. I switched to the next smallest brush to add foundation to my forehead and above my brows. This brush makes it easier not to get foundation on my edges. If I get foundation in my edges, it's going to create a flaky effect and I just don't want that. Now I do like to start off with my eyebrows, but today I did them a little different than usual. This is because I'm waiting for my Benefit Precisely My Brow Kit to come in the mail. So, you know, I'm kind of working with what I have, making the best of what I have until that comes in. My Old Faithful is winding down and I'm currently working with what I have. So what I'm doing is the further um, this video goes, the smaller the brush is getting. Just because I'm becoming more tedious with my makeup, I want to make more precise strokes um, with this makeup.
Next up is my concealer. I was so worried about um, this applying this part of my makeup, but it eventually balanced out. So thank God for that. The density on these brushes are on point. So I love how thick they are. I love me a thick brush. They're extremely soft and glide across my skin, though they do hold more foundation and more concealer. So you will be using more product. Now it's time to contour a little bit, snatch a little something here and there, make a little something pop. I do love, love, love the application of this contour with the with these brushes. It goes on really it goes on really well with the brush and then I can use a bigger brush to go in and just smooth it out.
Now, I wouldn't be myself if I left out highlighting. I love for you to see me coming with my highlight. The next to the smallest brush is great for adding to your cheekbones. So I use the next to the biggest brush to blend more. And when it comes to blending everything over my entire face, the biggest brush is great for that. By the time I'm finished with this look, I have an airbrushed look. So overall, I really do like these brushes and I, I'm of course going to keep them. I would love a better coverage, but I guess you can't have the complete package right now. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share all that good stuff. Thank you. See you next time.